Do you guys remember that day, like when you like figured it out how to wipe your own? Ass? Uh, no, but I will say this: I do remember the day my wife finally saw me mid act of wiping my. Ass. No yeah. man should ever be seen like that. What's going on, man? What's up? It's been a while. How's everybody doing out there on the, uh, you know, in there? How how's you doing? Farmer, how's Farmer Rad doing? Uh, I'm out here on safari. Uh, the cucumbers were, were uh, jumping off the, the vines, you know, a couple days ago. It looked like they're kind of dying off. Yeah. Uh, there's no rats. That's good. It's, it's, it's really good. Uh, mosquitoes are biting me up. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's wild out here. Did you see the episode of Joe Rogan when they were talking about the, uh, the genetically modified mosquitoes? The fact that you've got some genetically engineered mosquito and you're releasing it on the human race, like, holy shit, man. Well, well, here's something on that, too, is so they're doing that. They've already released them in Florida, from my understanding. They're already out there. They, Which mosquitoes? The modified ones. I don't know about the the not the vaccine, not the ones. vaccine, but the modified and ones. And what are these modified ones supposed to be doing? I guess helping with the mosquito population. How I, so? I don't, I don't. I don't know. But I do know, supposedly, and I'm pretty sure this is accurate. We had our first case of malaria in Florida, like ever, yeah. or from a, for a very very long time. Texas as well. Texas as well. No. No, nothing about that. I don't. I don't know how true it is, but they were talking about how these scientists uh, genetically modified these mosquitoes, and like they started in Texas and Florida. Isn't and that they're supposed to have the? Um, they're supposed to have uh, the a, a thing that was going around three years ago, and that West Nile virus. Shit. Yeah, we'll call it that. Sure. No, are they resistant to it, or they have it? They apparently have the something the, the cure to fix it or some shit. But then I hear other places that there's mosquitoes that have like malaria and stuff that they injected and yeah. I don't know. That 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 sounds that's just random. I just saw Rogan. I saw him talking about it. I'm like, that's interesting. I thought maybe you would have saw something. Uh yeah, no. I'm not into the the uh I didn't get down the mosquito rabbit hole yet. Oh, all right. That's good. But yeah, they're 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 pretty good. They can do a lot of damage. Yeah. If you get them, you breed them right. You got to raise them right. Yeah. You know. Well, I mean, no condoms. You know, if we're gonna breed them right, you can't breed yeah. them with condoms. Yeah. We don't want them to have AIDS. No. But but they do, right? Oh no, they don't. Or do they? They. Do they give AIDS? I don't think so. They, they biting things it. that have AIDS and then spreading AIDS. Yeah, yeah like you take. This you takes my blood full of garbage and then goes and bites you, and now you got my garbage blood. Yeah, okay, now cue the animation of the little DNA thing from Jurassic Park. A DNA strand like me is a blueprint for building a living thing. And it's your blood. <laughs> <laughs> you put the AIDS in the mosquitoes and then bite somebody and bam. I'm gonna be a law. <laughs> I'm just a bill right now. Oh, now you're going what school? Uh, schoolhouse. Yeah. yeah, yeah. How to become oh, wow. a how to become a bio terroristic weapon? <laughs> I'm just a mosquito. <laughs> well, first you got to go to the Capitol and get permission from the government to become a mosquito. Gonna kill the human race. Yeah. First, it's respiratory. Then it's blood. <laughs> Dino <not> DNA. <laughs> yeah. Uh. So, we have things to attend to today. We have people here. Person. We have person. A, a human person. A oh, real boy! Yeah, he's a real boy. <laughs> <laughs> and we send them off to Pleasure Island and they don't come back, little boys. What? We're not doing that to him, are we? You know, you know that guy. Okay. Anyway, you can find him on YouTube. He's an artist, a creative mind, just like the rest of us. 
because we got to keep the creative minds going. You can find them on YouTube and Instagram under the Art of G Torado. If I hope I'm saying it, G Torado. Am I saying that right? I'm getting thumbs up. That's good. Cool. I, I was so worried about that. I'm like, I'm gonna butcher this dude's name. I'm gonna say it's so white. G Torado. <laughs> Taradu. <laughs> but without further a Taradu, let's do 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 and bring Taradu in. What up? What up? Hello, sir. How are I'm you? I'm a man now, guys. I'm a man now. He's, a man. <laughs> oh, he's back from the island. Hey, he made it. Oh, I'm with my own ass. Yeah, there you go. Right. Do you guys remember that day, like when you wiped when you when you that that you um you had like figured it out how to wipe your own ass? Uh, no, wow. no, I can't say, but I will say this: I ha I do remember the day my wife finally saw me mid act of wiping my ass. Oh no! And yeah, man, it's. <laughs> if you, I'm telling you, it's a very vulnerable state, right? And yeah. Um, yeah. No it's, man should ever be seen like that. Especially at least, I mean, I don't know how everybody does it, but at least the way I wipe my ass, it's not, it's very, it's very, uh, I don't know. I don't, it's very feminine, I'd say. Like, this is uh -huh. how I always describe it. Yeah. You know how women do like the, um, like the, like the weird, like side, like bent knee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yep, yep. You know, yeah, I don't know it's, it's almost like that when I'm wiping my ass. Okay. All Except right. instead of my hand being on my hip, it's going in a band. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And it's not pretty. It's very, it's emasculating. So you, you sit know? and wipe. I, I can't sit. I don't sit and wipe. I, no, I hover. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. yeah. I have to get up. I can't. I can't do that yeah. side shit. Like, I need to get. I, need I to... stand up and I'm, I'm looking at it every time I wipe and I'm like, yep. Oh, okay. Another one. Dude. Slammed up. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Grab some more. Okay, so I thought maybe people sat still and just no. did like a lean and wipe. But I, 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 you know, I stand up a little bit, a little, yeah. a little squat, and I'm like, I'm going I stand in. up a little bit, and then and then I, I grab one cheek with my free hand, and then I take the paper hand. I just like, I get in there. I want to make sure it's mm. all, all gone. I'm a wet I'm wipes good guy. I'm a wet, wipe, uh, wet wipes guy, though. So. Dude. That is the way to go. It's like having a, a bidet and a napkin. That's the ne that's the next level is getting yeah. uh, my tushy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but because I mean I used to flush them shits and then always fuck up the pipes. <laughs> I yeah I can't. Yeah. My house is too old yeah. for that. Yeah, yeah. I had those dude wipes for a while and it was like clogging up and the whole. They say they're flushable and they're still not. Flushable. Dude, yeah, never believe that yeah. shit, man. Yeah. They, they don't know what they're that. talking about. No, I but mean, I, you, you could I just, just wipe it and throw it in like a. Yeah, it's not even worth it. Well, I mean, I, I mean, my, you know, my wife, I mean, we've been together forever, but so yeah. like, it doesn't gross her out when I just throw it in the trash. Plus, I kind of do it nicely. Like, I don't just like. Yeah, it's not I just hold it up, there, like like yeah, like, a, doing? like a little note and you know, like a class note. I just toss it in. There. <laughs> yeah, but I, I will I, say right because there is like preparation. Uh, that's needed when, like, if you're going away, like, mm -hmm. we went away uh, with family, like, uh, not the weekend before last, and I was like, shit, I use wipes. Like, we use a squatty potty, too, so we got a portable one, mm -hmm. and I was like, shit, like, I don't want people, like, knowing when I'm shitting because they're going to see it in the trash can, so I had to use, like, a empty package of wipes, and I just mm -hmm. would reuse that and stuff all the used wipes in it. And yeah. It's the whole fucking process, but... I say it's worth it if you want a nice clean butt. No, Makes no dingleberries, no crusties. You know. Well, it's yeah. also like if like with the squatty potty, it kind of you know it, it puts you in the position oh. where you need to get everything out. Oh yeah, better. squatty potty for sure. Well, yeah, it, it like helps your you know. But I feel like the more you squat, the more it's opening you up, so you're not getting yeah. like anything you know any friction. Yeah, and like if you sit, the, like if yeah. you if you like saddle up right like it'll spread your cheeks for you all right you know what i mean you don't have mm -hmm. to like <laughs> if you want to get a nice clean yeah. delivery you know just like sitting it, away it works with... yeah it's called opening up the pelvic floor it's an exercise for women who are pregnant to do as well it's well, like yeah. squats so, in general are good for your entire lower body yeah middle like, eastern without weight 
shit on the floor, like not on the floor, but they have toy. They're not really toilets. They're like an opening. And like you like, I don't do they like hover or do they like put their back against the wall and kind of like sit? So in the Philippines, yeah. they have that too. Like, well, in like the more prop, like in like the poorer areas. So like mm-hmm. in the province. Right. Um, yeah, they have like, it's like a, it's like a, it's like a miniature toilet. Mm-hmm. And it, you know, no flush, no nothing. It just, it just goes straight down into the hole. So they would have like a, uh, a, they call it a tabo. And it's um just a, you just, uh it's a cup of water and you just fucking pour it down mm-hmm. to clean it okay. out. But I mean, I, if I recall, I, I just sat on it like a regular toilet, but I was squatting because it was mm-hmm. so low to the ground. So it was, in a sense, it was kind of like having a squat, a natural squatty body. Yeah, <laughs> because I, I've, I've seen the Indian bathrooms where it's literally like it's it's the floor, and then there's like a like a metal grate. I don't know. Well, it's something, but it's almost like a toilet, but it's it's flush with the floor. Yeah. I've, the yeah, toilets I've in America are too damn high. <laughs> like, like, remember that guy running for president? The rent's yep. too high. Yeah, our, our toilets are too high. You, I think you just solve like everything. It all our starts with the toilet. We're Lower not shitting right. Raise the Americans middle class. With all the shitty right. food that, like, you know, yes. that we eat, it's like, all right, if we're gonna keep eating shitty food, then the least we can do is have a proper way to shit it out. Yes. Yeah. Instead of fixing the problem. Out. Yep. Let's let's meet somewhere in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> lower, 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 the, lower, lower the toilets. Raise the quality of life. I know you got you know you know what though seriously it would probably be cheaper to do that than to have airlines make larger seats for the fatties. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I agree. Bad. I agree. But yeah, fuck that. Or, or put toilets on each seat. Mm. With with little, ah. like, little hoses that go and then go yeah. and like, eventually feed in the one big hose and just out the back of the plane, it freezes <sighs> it on the way out and just right out. We we clearly have no idea how airplane toilets work. <laughs> I don't think any of that is practical. Yeah, because like, you got to think like all those different diets that people have. You know, yeah. like. Yeah. Like who knows? They might clog up some tubes that like are connected to the seat toilets that go all the way to wherever they go. Right? It'll yep. ruin first class forever, Mike. Have you either? Have either of you taken a shit on a plane before? I have, yeah. And I think once. Have you ever? Have you ever taken a shit on a plane, like sat on a toilet and then flushed it while you were still sitting on it? The air. No. no? No, I'm too yeah, scared. Like that's such no. a mess. <laughs> yeah, there's a. It's it'll it's make, pretty. I would buy a toilet like that. Just it'll to make have it prolapse, bro. It, pu- yeah, it pulls right? a lot of air in. It's not. It's not gonna. It, yeah, it, it's not gonna prolapse you, but it definitely. It's a. Uh, it's a rush. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Whoa, what's going on? That's, that's what I'm looking for. Yeah. Okay. It's not gonna prolapse. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Like a reverse oh. fart, just a whole bunch of wind blowing up your butt. No, it wouldn't be blowing. It'd be sucking. It'd be sucking. It's something a- Apple makes it. It's called the air bidet. Bidet. Air, air ap- bidet? Uh, Apple. Apple air bidet. Bidets. Air bidet. Air bidet. Air bidet. Air bidet. Bidet. That's all, folks. <laughs> the air bidet. Ooh, the air buddy. Right. That's yeah. It's, it's a. It's oh a waterless. Goodness. It's a waterless air powered bidet. Instead of washing your butthole, it just blows a lot of wind on it. So it almost looks like a like a mask you'd wear, like in a fighter jet, but you'd stick it over your bee hole and just. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's um, air air. Yeah, it, it, somebody makes this. I guarantee Why don't you it. Just use a shop vac. With the attachment on the other end, so it's blowing air instead of sucking it. No, oh, sucking air. Oh, you wanted to suck everything out. Well, I mean, not like, like suck it out of your body, but you know, while you're, you know, naturally letting it come out, like it's helping. Like it's giving a little extra oomph, you know. I mean, wouldn't you just use what they use for like uh, those colonoscopies or whatever? I don't know. Never gotten one. Well, isn't that like the thing they stick the tube up your ass so they can clean out your? Okay. Your, yeah. Your, your yeah. Stomach? But that like doesn't it like chop it up first and then suck it out? 
I don't know. I'm sure that there's like a regimen you gotta follow. So I mean, that's that's like that's like poop food. knife territory right there. It's a colonic. They shoot a they jet they jet clean your butthole like it's a bad yeah. piece of plumbing. Here we yep, go. That's it. So they just gotta use so, that technology and then you know, yeah, but that's that's you gotta put things up there. That's the thing. I'm trying to keep everything on the well, out. They can make well, maybe they I'm can make a the poker, so it kind of cups around your your butthole, um, you know, your butthole wrinkles. Like it would go around the butthole wrinkles, maybe, and then like a water, like a bidet. That's like a jet. The old balloon nut. <laughs> <laughs> like a I'm mouse that blows the balloon. <laughs> Day bow bow. <laughs> I don't know what that has to do with it, but or or bidet bout bout. <laughs> bidet. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, that clip popped up on my Instagram the other day. The fucking um, it's always sunny. He's like day bow bow. What the hell is day bow bow? You know day bow bow. Day bow bow. And they're both in the hallway. <laughs> <laughs> that's such a good show yeah uh but um what do you call it um mike have you heard the recent news about ai actually um they supposedly they um they they like made it so that you can't copyright ai art it's not it's not copyrightable Public domain. It, saw something like that because it, it had like no human touch to it. You know what I mean. So you can't copyright it. Yeah, because like an actual person didn't create that art. You know, it just data scrap or data scrape. You know. So then you can the you can use that art all willy nilly wherever you want. Essentially, no yeah. Hmm. Which but then it's, still it sucks, but you can't you really know, make money off it then. That's the as thing. Like, at least they're not making yeah. money. Yeah. Because, like, that's where I draw a line as an artist. It's like, you know, if, if you're going to use it for fun or I, I even say, like, using it for reference, mm -hmm. you know, um, that's – I think that's okay. But if you're going to, like, sell it as your own, that's like, nah. Nah, bitch. Get out of here. Yeah. But, you know, like, I, I, I imagine – like, I always say, like, if I were to use it, which I don't. But if I were to use it, I would use it to come up with like, like concepts. If um, because like you know, if I'm doing like mashup characters, right? Like I used to, I used to do that uh, every now and then, and I would always go on Google and be like, all right, has anyone done Wolverine and Vegeta before? And then see if anything pops up and be, and if I don't see anything within the first few pages, I'm like, all right, I'm gonna go with it and do my thing. So I feel like if I were to use AI, it would eliminate those steps for me. Where I can just be like, what would Vegeta like? What are approaches to that concept? Yeah, like, how, what happen? could it look like? Yeah, and then Before I would kind I of like imagine it. Yeah, and then you know I would, and then I would put my, and then I would put my own, my own twist to it. You know, I would bring in my own style, um, and that, that I mean, that's how I would approach it. <clears throat> but I don't use AI <clears throat> just because I don't know. It just I'd rather use my brain power to my creativity to come up with the shit, you know? Yeah. But I think it's I wonder, small win. I'm sorry. I was, just, I was gonna say, I wonder if that could put some artists out of work. Cause imagine like you need concept art for a movie. And instead of hiring somebody like you to draw it, they just have the AI draw it, and now they don't have to pay anybody for it. Cause nobody owns it. Yeah. But I think, um, well, I mean, Is that a concern? Well, that, I think that'll be the next concern. But I, you know, like there's there's like experts that are fucking probably working their asses off to come up with these like, um, you know, these safety uh, procedures to be like to to you know to flag the AI generated stuff, you know, like so I'm sure the next step will be like all right now we got to find out a way to, you know, to protect the conceptual artist jobs, you know, and and see and make sure like whatever they're submitting is actually theirs. You know, kind of like the, I just imagine they would use the same technology they use for uh, for literature. You know, like there's like cases of like you know, like at school, like school papers are being turned down because you know they have they I don't know, whatever the tool they use, they have a way to find out if it was actually written by the student or not. Right, like when they I asked think, Chat GPT to write the, the paper. 
I don't know, but I it, I, I I covered an article uh, on that briefly, and um, I forget. I, I don't think they in that ar- particular article they said what they use, but there are developers out there that are just like trying to, you know, cover the, you know cover their all the holes in this whole AI thing. Yeah, it's so all about it's covering all holes, in. man. How does yeah. Getty? How does how does Getty Images work? Like, would there be a company that provides stock photos that are AI and they could somehow profit off of it? Is that like a wow. well? Because like Getty that... Images, they have like they have watermarks on their shit, right? Yeah. Um, so I, I mean, maybe they would have to do something like that to avoid, or at least to maybe not to avoid using those photos, but to assure that the photos were um, AI created. I mean, that's just my guess. Yeah. I'm wondering so, if, like, that's they'll attach, like, a, something like on the blockchain to that, like, use some sort of, like, cryptocurrency algorithm to track. Like, you know how they made all that, uh, what do they call them? The, the crypto art? What the hell is it? What do they oh, call the that? NFTs? NFTs, right. Yeah. Which... It's, it's, like, kind of in the same world, because some of that is digitally created by artists, but at the same time, some of it is, like, augmented with with, with like computer assisted design and shit. Oh yeah, for sure. Especially the animated ones, I think. Um, or the ones where it's like an image and the further you go in, there's more images in like a pixel sized part of the image. Oh, that, that that's a different thing though, I think. That, that is yeah. a different thing. That's, yeah. yeah. Yeah, they call that, um, shit, what is it called? It's like extreme zoom in or extreme yeah, that shit's zoom crazy. paintings or something like that. <clears throat> yeah, but there's it's like digi- it's digital. There's no way you can just like take a magnifying glass and see it. It, ha- it has no, to be no, put because you have to. There's there's like actual softwares and, and apps for yeah. that so that you can <laughs> so you can always basically yeah. zoom out to create more illustrations outside yeah. of that yeah. one. So yeah, that shit it's cool, but I'm like I don't know, man. If I was me, if, I feel like I would forget all the shit that's in there because I would just. <laughs> I would, see, <laughs> yeah. I would just see the first image and then you know if i was just I it know, kind of only like, works on the zoom out it's like zoom in you'd be like where the fuck am i supposed to zoom in yeah. <laughs> like ah, i missed it by one pixel seriously but on the zoom yeah, out those look pretty cool they're i think they're an, a neat concept uh, i think it's a great way for storytelling but just speaking personally like i i would lose my sh- i would lose myself in that shit <laughs> You know, I, would, I wouldn't even know where to start or, or where to begin, where to continue. <laughs> like, that makes fuck, sense for, like, storytelling. That makes sense for storytelling. You're right about that. Like, yeah. that's, like... It's, like, the next... It's, like, I feel like it's the next motion comic, almost. You know? Like, you have your comic books, and then they started making motion comics. And then I feel like... Dude, that's a good in. idea. <laughs> I wonder if you can do, like, a Zoom animation animate like a flip book uh i, I mean well flip That's book is pages. like a flip book is traditional animation yeah 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 but i mean but like, you mean like, like you're if zooming, you can keep it's... zooming out and there'll be more animations going on as like you zoom you, out yeah like while you're zooming out like whatever oh, the like image is the flip book's this big but you start off looking at it like in the in the very middle of the flip book and then, mm. as no, no, might not look. I hmm. so are you Maybe saying like, like like if you st- if you did it where like you drew something really small like someone running at a camera like a like a character running at a camera and as you zoomed out the character got closer to the screen so well I think the concept is you keep zooming oh, or right, whatever no, the wait. whatever the zoom you keep is. zooming in you're zooming in oh well. So- I mean, because you're you're doing the finger, you're you're doing yeah. this, but you're yeah. sent, you're basically zooming in closer. So you're saying if you, every time you would zoom into another thing, it's maybe just another zoom, animation. Maybe zoom. Yeah, it could be either way. But either way, either there's way. like there's a something this big, and there's some detail going on that's very small. Whether you start with the small or the big, you don't mm. either don't you don't see one or the other until <laughs> you get to the beginning or the end. Yeah, someone I mean, should do that. 
that could be the next thing, or it could be happening right now, or you know, people could be working or on fucking it. Fucking Google's listening to us, and they're just doing it with AI. I'm like, oh, here yeah. you go, billion yeah. views on TikTok. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, while while we're talking, you're telling Chat GPT to to <laughs> tell to run the run run the the formula and and do <laughs> all that stuff. Like, yeah, hey, here's fifty bucks. See what you can do with it. Yeah. <laughs> and by the time we're done talking, it's like, oh wow. Yeah, it's got a million yeah. followers on Instagram, and nobody even looks at our stupid podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> That's how it feels yeah. sometimes. You just start. You just the, the the AI shit can get people can manip. The first people to manipulate it are the people who like to manipulate shit. They are the people who like to hustle and cheat <clears throat> and hack and find like a loophole. Yeah. They're always the first people to, to like get their heads wrapped around it. Meanwhile, everyone else in the office is like, why are we still entering things manually? And it's like, ah, it's just the way it is. Relax. Yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, they're, they're like, money's being stolen, exchanged, and traded. Hey, mm. talk amongst yourselves real quick. Be back. <laughs> <clears throat> um, all right. Are you into what? crypto at all? I'm not. I'm not. I, um, I don't know when it comes to that stuff, like that, you know, the techie techie stuff. I'm just like, I'm too stupid for that shit, <laughs> and ignorant, I guess. Like I probably, you know, I could. I don't know. It it just had it never piqued my interest enough. Yeah, know. it's I- like uh, <clears throat> it's kind of after the. It, it's not really the time right now to get into it. Yeah. So you exactly. you missed out, but you didn't miss out at the same time. Like if you tried to get into it now. I think it would be like not, not as exciting. Yeah, people. By, I've had friends try to get. I've had friends try to get me on that, and and you know, of course, NFTs and <clears throat> I don't know. I'm just I'm very old fashioned when it comes to creating art. Honestly, like I, you know, I mean, I do digital art too, but it's it's very basic. Um, but uh, yeah, like any time I'd <laughs> people be like, oh man, you should you should uh, you know do an NFT. And I'd be like, all right, like, how do you do it? Like, I've had where friends I, that, where, where the hell do I start? <laughs> yeah, like, it's just like, tell me where to go, like, how the shit works, too. Like, I've seen the layouts of, like, a, a, I don't know, the websites or softwares or whatever they do to make the, the NFT. But I'm just like, this shit looks complicating as fuck, man. Like, it's such, kind it of looks for- like a headache to me. So I'm like, yeah, I'm almost like for no reason. It is, it's, a, it does sound complicated. Like, I understand what it is, but to make it, to like publish it like it feels like a bunch of extra steps that don't need to exist yeah and i'm just like you know what i'm just gonna sculpt something (laughs) by the by the time the person's like explaining how to create an actual nft i'll probably have like an an actual sculpture done (laughs) like it just yeah it just sounds like a headache and um but yeah i'm i don't know like do you think that shit will pick back up like crypto. NFT specifically or crypto well, as a whole? Well, both or, you know, either or both. Because I feel like, you know, it's not, it's not, you know, I feel like AI really just kind of fucking took them out of the, out of the picture right now. It, it took the headlines for sure. Um, Bitcoin and some of the other major cryptocurrencies are definitely not going anywhere. They really are <laughs> like going to be something that, like international and federal reserves utilize in one way or another, or people just still look as like a store of wealth. Yeah. Um, but it's going to happen slow and in the background and the people who don't pay attention are, are just going to, it's just going to be like, whatever it's, that's worth a million dollars. Like, I don't care. Yeah. So it's like a background thing. Like the price of gold, like nobody wakes up in the morning, like what's the price of gold today? Unless yeah. you're like, you're into gold. <laughs> And even then, you're like, well, it's it went up or it went down. It's like, yeah, uh, yeah I mean, it, it varies. But, like, <laughs> different things that are considered, like, assets like and technologies, it, it has its moments, and then a lot of people talk about it and do something about it. At the same time, it just operates in the background as, like, something you don't even think about. Like, no, nobody cares how uh, a credit card works or how banks and credit cards move around money. But then you tell you talk about some new digital currency that does the exact same thing, and people are all excited about it. 
when they get excited about it and then and then they're bored about it like a yeah. couple of weeks later <clears throat> it's definitely going to stick around the nft side of things i i do see something happening with that as far as like being able to like trace like say say you did a series of prints like you create an original piece and then you reprinted it only so many times it would help you track the ownership of that yeah so so if you sold it to one person and then another person bought it uh it would be traceable and that could affect its value as well so if you have like a print of your artwork you know it or there's only 50 prints it's it's they could be physical and digital at the same time. Mm. Mm. And, and, but the, the traceability and like the record keeping of that would be what the value is. So like right now you go buy like an original Van Gogh. I mean, it's sitting in somebody's mansion somewhere. Yeah. Nobody actually knows where it is or who bought it. And you kind of don't have to know who bought it, but, but the, the interesting thing would be to know, how how many times it's been bought and at what price mm. <clears throat> and, and that would be on like a ledger like you could see if like your design accrued value over time or if it's literally just sitting anywhere and somebody's just holding on to it mm. and it's either going up or down in value that's the only thing that makes sense to me everything else just seems like sensational like oh it's digital you buy yeah. it and then like most of those nfts that i saw were just like stupid fucking gorilla apes Smoking oh, meat. Oh yeah, yeah. What did they call that? Board ape. Yeah, the board. Board ape. ape yacht club or something. <clears throat> yeah, and I'm like, those are like, yeah, that's interesting, but like, yeah, that's not like awesome or like, I don't know. I didn't, I didn't get it. I didn't get it when that's what it was. The board apes. I'm like, it's a bunch of fucking stoned apes. Right, and that's what I'm saying. Like, I <laughs> like, like I, I like the ones. I can, I can admire the ones that are like actual 3D objects that are like rotating or whatever they're animated in some way and it's you know three-dimensional but i've seen a lot of like i remember seeing this one article and i got so <laughs> triggered but it was like some 14 year old girl like made i don't know like millions or some ridiculous money from turning her art into nfts but they were just like they're very elementary to say uh lightly is that they're very uh, <laughs> like if this chick can make whatever hundreds or millions like i would imagine i'd be able to grab a market of people to be to to invest that same amount of money into my work i would imagine you know at least like not to like sound arrogant but like with somebody that can display a skill set i would imagine that person would be able to be able to uh, accomplish the same thing as opposed to like this young teenager that like, again, I'm not trying to disparage her creative capabilities, but they were very, I think, it, <laughs> I, I, I think it was timing. Like the hype was there and people were like, Oh, look, a stick oh, figure yeah. at NFT. Like, Oh my God, somebody spit on a piece of paper and took a photo of it. And it's an NFT. <laughs> like I want to yeah. be the first one to have that. And then yeah. now it's like, now it's like, you know, people with less talent than you, are, are probably still making NFTs and they're probably being sold for next to nothing. So you kind of yeah. miss the boat, but the boat was never really <laughs> built to sail. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, like, and like I said, by the time I figured out how to do it, that shit would have been, that ship would have sailed already anyway. <laughs> so like, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't, it takes me a few tries to retain information. So mm -hmm. I know very well that I would miss that boat. It was clearly it. not the Doc Brown. <laughs> 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 Rad, Rad was Rad's trying to uh, justify purchasing a boat, and then he was coming up with boat names. And I was driving back from um, Jim's house because I was over in Naples. So I drove like five hours away, and I was on my way back. So Rad was keeping me company for a good hour, and we were coming up with boat names. And and I came up with Doc Brown, D O C K Brown, and we were thinking of like you know Doc Brown. Like that's fucking genius assholes and getting fucked and we went all all kinds of crazy ways but so it, it's gonna be doc brown and in quotes we're going we don't need roads right, right? it's a it's a boat yeah boat, it's for boats. a boat yeah. they don't need roads ah. it's if i'm gonna i can't buy the boat unless i have the best goddamn boat name it's true, man. Yeah. Although I might as well not even do it. That's how I was telling Mike. I was like, if we can't name the boat, I'm not going to buy the boat.
Yeah. Imagine you just drive yeah. a boat and it's just called Summer Wind. <laughs> summer Wind. <laughs> Fuck that. Or like, I thought it was a fart. I, I thought it was a fart reference. I'm like, Summer Wind is that like a fart? And they're like, no. And I'm like, ah. yeah, right. Is that is that what you call a hot a hot fart? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Summer it Wind. Is. <laughs> it was like hot garbage. And the only way you could justify that boat name is if you had a picture of a butt with a little toot smoke coming out of it. Like two yeah. butt cheeks with yeah. some smoke. You're like, oh, it's a hot wind. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Oh, shit. Damn. That is so, funny. how often do you guys, uh, like, how often do you, are you guys able to get together and, and run this show? Not so right often now, anymore. Yeah. Seems like it's annually now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not annually, it's annually. <laughs> well, we could do that too, but yeah, that yes, involves right? us actually that involves us being yeah, in person. Right. right? I mean, With Mike and Rad's well, depository. <laughs> the anal episode. The a- a- our annually an- our annual anal episode. Suppositories <laughs> with Mike and Rad. <laughs> 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 we, we were talking about colonics and, and, Dude, and, and shit before. <laughs> that would be a good commercial for our show. No. You can't listen or watch? Well, take us anally. <laughs> we have anally prescribed <laughs> no, with Mike and Ryan. Annually. It's our <laughs> annual suppository. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, you go every year to what? Get caught up on all the episodes? <laughs> <laughs> Join us for our annual colonic, where we just dump out everything we've been thinking about. Ah, <laughs> yeah, that was good. That was good. Yeah. I like that. Do a lot of shit talking. You drinking Merlot, man? Um, I don't know what it is, but it is a red. Uh huh. Um, yeah, I ran out of shit. weed, so that's this weird. Is like I had some yesterday. Thing. Okay. <laughs> All right. Weed and what wine. Are you W's. What are, you, what are you drinking it out of? Show uh, the, just, what's uh, the container? Uh, uncork New York. Oh, wait. Fucking camera's right here. <laughs> <laughs> I was oh, looking at my regular, little... <laughs> it's a regular wine glass. I thought you were drinking it's... out of something funny. Like, no, uh... no, right? yeah, oh, a wine no. Glass, yeah. no, you can't drink wine out of something funny. I know. It's either but the I, bottle I, or a wine glass. That's it. <laughs> I, I thought maybe it was the, the bag out of a Franzia box <laughs> wine. And he's just scumbagging it. <laughs> <laughs> So you well, yeah, just have a similar low squish. <laughs> <laughs> just squeezing the wine out. The tap's broken off. That's how. Oh, I, I don't know. I've I'd seen have a I've hose seen attached to that. I have the bag sitting <laughs> on the desk with a hose just taped to my face what? like Hunter S. Thompson. Just fucking. Just... <laughs> Let's get like one of those camelback backpacks. Oh, yep. shit. Yeah, like a camelback. You just swap out the bag from water to wine. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Jesus did it, right? Yeah, it's the Jesus sack. That yes. must be big. I bet people do that at festivals. They have to. Somebody's got to be doing that. Vodka or something. Uh, like jungle juice or some shit. Ooh, yeah. Like something, something that goes down real easy. Just walking around, <laughs> just pouring it, people it's drinks. It's Gatorade and vodka, so you're just like maintaining, like hydration and intoxication at the same time. I'm still getting my electrolytes. That's right. <laughs> Dip low. <laughs> Drop that bass. You know, it's funny you bring up like music and shit because uh, I've been like seeing online uh, a lot of like performers getting fucking whacked in the face with objects like yeah have you seen any of that shit oh, Cardi yeah, B. Like, you know, people are throwing like, shit on stage yeah, in a negative kind of way yeah but it's like ramping up now it seems like like i just i don't know the last few weeks it's uh there was like some country singer and then it happened to like uh what's that chick's name bit bit baby rexa I don't know um, that one. I don't it's know. like uh, some r&b or, or pop singer yeah. um but it's like it's just I don't know. Like I've seen multiple articles over time of like the shit happening. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Yeah, yeah. people talking yeah, their phones up there. Somebody stopped the show and they're just like, I'm done. Yeah, like I'm done. I'm done. You guys are gonna throw shit. I'm done. Like, well, like, like I saw. Well, I saw an article of uh, Adele like stopping the show and she's like, if anyone, she's like, what did she say? I don't know. She's like, if someone throws something, it's like I'm gonna fucking kill you. You know, I'm gonna <laughs> say know? it. I'm going to say it here and now and on YouTube for everybody. Adele was cooler when she was fat. She was way fucking cooler. 
Just saying. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. I miss Fat Adele. Bring back Fat Adele. I'm gonna make that a T-shirt. It's funny how like certain with certain artists, like it depends, right? Mm. Like if they drop a huge amount of weight, they become less cool. But if it's like the opposite, I don't know. I feel like it, it sometimes it goes radically one or the like one direction or the other. Yeah, like Jonah Hill. Another example. Jonah Hill lost a lot of weight, and he still is kind of a funny guy. He's he's gotten really like I don't know, I'm hearing like weird spiritual shit like yeah he's like he's gone he's on another level now he's like on like almost like Shia LaBeouf like he's he's like on that Something. trajectory right now he's yeah because yeah, like, yeah. it's not bad but it's just like it's not he's very introspective and yeah yeah, sort of yeah it's spiritual. not like Jonah Hill anymore. I don't know. I, I mean, like, I, I don't know if you see, you've seen like the whole thing with like his girlfriend or his ex girlfriend. He was probably he was like yeah. showing some red flags and his like breakup text message, some shit. Huh. It's sad that I know this, but I, I, I was blame, gonna say I don't. I blame Yahoo News. Like, I get that shit in the morning, and sometimes I'll just scroll through and be like, "Is there anything actually interesting?" Yahoo is still a thing. It is. <laughs> yeah, they got finance, news and finance. Holy shit! Honestly, There's I have an Android phone, and that shit just—it just pops up on my phone. I didn't even ask for it. <laughs> it like came default on my phone that I get Yahoo News and finance notifications. I never signed up for it. Well, I, I still have my Yahoo. I made email. a deal with like Samsung. Mm. But, but I don't even shit. have that. Look and it that. just, it just, it came to me. What the fuck's going on over here? This lady's like getting her mouth open and shit. What's happening here? Yeah. But yeah, I, 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 I get what that means. straight up Yahoo mail and I'll Damn. go through, see if anything. I mean, sometimes they got like interesting news, but usually it's mostly just stupid bullshit. You Bring know? back Juno. I want Juno back. Juno? Like, are you talking about? The actor or the movie? No, the old the email fucking thing. Do you remember that? June, no. That was a web service provider yeah, where you could yeah. get free internet by watching ads, right? Does that make yeah, sense? I think so. You know what it was? Juno. You just Juno? have to move your mouse around. Juno. Oh. No, I never it made it very that. hard to download. Maybe. How old are you, G? Uh, I'll be 37 soon. So I'm 36. Yeah, so you might have missed Juno. You might have missed Maybe, it. Maybe, yeah. I think yeah. so. It was like a. It was only like a year or two window from dial-up to cable companies providing internet, where the Juno was like a free internet provider for dial-up, and oh. you just watched ads to get free internet, but you had to be actively using it for the ads, so they knew that you were watching the ads. Uh. And there was this whole thing where you could get the mouse to move around the screen to make it look like you're active, so you could like download music. Okay. And if you stop moving your mouse around, the ads stop playing and the internet shut off. But this only worked for like a year, and they realized half their customers were scamming them. They probably made no money. <laughs> yeah. Um, and it was like it was like here and gone within like yeah, it was probably only around for like a year. And I want to guess that that year was like 1999 or something. Yeah, sounds about around right. Around then, Mike, Mike, you want to pull that shit up? Uh, let's yeah, back no, check it's... it. Let's let's back check it live. Go back to the where it's your screen. Oh, you want you want the screen? You want the, screen? the truth about Juno. Did I guess it right? <laughs> Was it only around for a year or two? Or I have no idea. I typed in Juno, and there's all like new shit. Like it's still around. Uh, See Juno Internet Service. Uh, um, yeah, well, just go to go to like the wiki for it. Do a wiki search on it. <clears throat> How do you do like, a wiki uh, search? His... Just just type the word wiki after it. Juno, oh, Juno Internet wiki? Service <laughs> Wiki. Yeah. I'm telling you how to do this. You're you're the genius. <laughs> Shit. There you go. Yeah. Do you know what you're doing, bro? <laughs> Ninety six it was invented. And it's not dead yet? Apparently not. Is that what you're saying? Wait. Well, Wow, 96. Yeah. But that's not when it really peaked, is it? Yeah, I think so. Anytime I see the date 1996, I always think about that fucking blizzard. Oh, here you go. 
in, in 1998, Juno expanded its service to offer premium support for paying subscribers and added the ability to browse the web in addition to use of email. Uh, uh, Juno began the offer the same service without technical support for free. free. Provided the user ran the Juno client, which displayed a bar containing advertisements for the majority of the time the user was online. Got yep. the, I got the year right. Yep. That was the year. Yep. There you go. Uh, and then, you feel better now? And then it died. Dude, look at that. Free service was limited as of the middle of July 2015 to a minimum of 10 hours per month. <laughs> what did you what? have to do then? Fucking ask them to mail you another 10 hours on a disc <laughs> from AOL? <laughs> like, can I, can I cash these in? Like, oh, no, we're not affiliated with that casino. Those are the wrong chips, sir. Wow. <laughs> That's crazy. You gotta take those back to the Juno Casino. Juno Casino. Juno Casino. Juno Casino. Juno, Juno Casino. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, Juno. I don't know. Like... Casino. I never Juno heard of know. That. <laughs> Juno no. Juno, you ju don't know. <laughs> oh, oh shit. shit. That's awesome. I just realized I... everybody's wearing hats. <laughs> I got, actually, I wanted to go back to the, the fat thing, though. Oh, okay. Um, I, Let's I, do it. I do think uh, I think it's hilarious uh, on this whole shit with Lizzo. Oh, with the the, the backup dancers or whatever. <laughs> yeah, and like it's the fat shaming. I don't get it. I don't understand. <laughs> it's like this fat bitch is gonna fat shame me. <laughs> I'm. Yeah, I don't. I don't understand it. Yeah. I don't know why it's a thing. Like, why? Why do we care? Like, why? Who? I just, I think, I, I don't know. Like, they, they say it's just, it's, it sounds like the skit from Dave Chappelle when they did the the making the band skit. Do you do you remember that? When I'm when, very you know, familiar when, with this. When, when P Diddy would always send out the, you know. The crew to I'm like Cambodian breast milk. <laughs> yeah. So like uh, apparently Lizzo oh. was basically. Was basically doing the same shit, like making her backup dancers like do certain things. Like one of them, which was like a major case, was like, "Oh, she, she was like making me eat a banana from a, a like a prostitute's vagina or some shit like that, like or a stripper's oh. fucking vagina." And it's she sounds like a fun person to party with. I mean, I'm thinking like, I'm thinking, <laughs> is, the, is, is the banana peeled? Or is it unpeeled? You know, because like, if Wait, where's the banana peeled, going? In in the vagina, like it, they they had. I feel like it'd have to be peeled, uh, not peeled. It had to be full form banana, right? To be I would say hygienic, half, or half, you know, half, half 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 peeled. I would say half peeled. The peel, but which half is going well, in? It's sticking out. <laughs> well, it's the right, peeled so end is sticking out. Oh shit! I would want. I got. I'm gonna right? that later. <laughs> Tell the internet to make us a picture of it so we can visualize it. Yeah, it feels hey, like I'm coming. Uh, total segue into something completely different. Um, <laughs> so what was it? 2018. There was a uh, an airplane that was flying from Malaysia to somewhere else, and then it disappeared. What do you guys think about that? Oh, and they still haven't found anything like no. no, no, there's a documentary on Netflix about it. I just started watching it. And because it's funny, because our conversation when we when we had you had me on last and we were talking about how $10 billion satellite in the sky, but we don't know what's in our own waters. Like I, that still baffles my mind that this plane is missing now almost six years. So, and we who, send this satellite up, but we haven't. Like we, we can't find a plane in a fucking ocean. Well, who who cut like who's who who is it that reports it like like because I don't know I'm so convinced now especially with like government saying oh yeah there's there are UFOs and shit like yeah. I'm, I oh, feel yeah. like they're just throwing shit to distract us from the real shit. So I feel like back then with the whole the airplane missing, I feel like they just kind of put that up. Whoever they are, they just put that out there to distract us from whatever else was going on back then yeah like so i'm like that's why i'm like is who like who was reporting it the most like u.s or like 
Malaysia. Like, where yeah, they, like, yeah, yeah. You know, turns out like, Malaysia, they're just like planes disappear all the time. We just don't know how to fly them right. This yeah. is normal. And meanwhile, we're like, oh my god, where to go? But who knows, right? They might, <laughs> they might be like that on, on a certain level. Because like, I'm, it, it, I don't know. It just brought me back to um when when me and my wife uh when we were dating at the time when we took her to the Philippines and mm. we like. We were traveling to another island, and we had to take a small private plane. And um, it was crazy because when we landed, and like we, we were going to like a, a lesser, um, you know, not like a poor area, but like it was just I, I don't I'm, I'm stupid with words. But anyway, when we landed, because uh, we had just passed a storm, but when we landed, we saw another plane, but it, it crashed. <laughs> like it was a crash. Oh, shit. Plane at where we landed and i was just like oh shit and yeah know, it's gotta like, not be a good feeling when you see if you're on you're no. just getting on a plane it's, oh shit not what happened to those people <laughs> exactly but then i'm wondering now it makes me wonder like i wonder if that shit was like reported at all in their local news or whatever so like yeah so kind of like just another plane crash <laughs> but that's just what i'm saying like crash. maybe they don't maybe they don't you know they don't like uh, hyper react like like we do on yeah you know, a bunch like of that. the 239 people on board yeah those fucking <laughs> you know like, not worried I'm, about them like i'm sure I they're mournful like, and like, like yeah. down the block yeah. <laughs> that's, that's not even that's not even half my family <laughs> but that's what i mean like it might just be like you know i'm sure they, they're mournful and they're sympathetic yeah. but it's just like that's just life, folks. <laughs> you know, as yeah. opposed to like, uh, you know, Westerners are like just constantly throwing it in the mainstream media. And but like, that's the no thing resolution. too. If it wasn't, if like it does happen quite often with those, like, why was that particular flight like the one to be like, we need to report on this and we need to send out the Coast Guard and bring it? Like, why was that the one? I, exactly. Like you said, it could have been because they needed a fucking we're, oh, shit. We got it. We got this coming up and they, they can't know about this. Uh, oh, look, a plane went missing. Who gives a fuck, dude? Let's just yeah. spin it. Yeah. Yeah. Like they were kind of, you know, they yeah, exactly. Like they were really blowing it up. I don't know, man. Like it's so amusing watching how or what people react to nowadays. Mm. Yeah. And like really like like I don't know, like just really like invest their energy on that shit and just be like, I don't know, like, you know, like today, like, I, you know, uh, Trump Trump is indicted now. And I, <clears throat> I'm seeing so many people just posting multiple pictures of his mugshot, yeah. you know, like memes and shit. And I'm just like, all right, I get it. If you fucking hate the guy, but like, you're like, this is like, <clears throat> like, why are you wasting all your energy on this shit? <laughs> yeah. You can be doing much, uh, much better things. Yeah, and like I posted online the other day, I'm like, it, it's like it's funny how America was like we, we threw like billions of dollars towards Ukraine, right? And Maui is going through this tragic fire. Fuck Maui, fuck and... those people. That's what they said. <laughs> like that's. How do you do that? How do you? And then we're sending like what right. another forty in the same week? They're like, oh yeah, we're gonna give seven hundred dollars per household, but forty billion, another forty billion to you. For... We we must have we must have not paid for dinner when they fucked us or something because we're we owe them for something, and we're paying for it. Everybody's paying for it. Oh yeah. yeah. And then that whole yeah, thing with well, Maui itself and the whole, like, you know, like, it was it a land grab, like, that whole fucking thing. Like, people, I see people getting interviewed, like, oh, I had realtors calling me the day after it happened. Like, mm. come on. Like, they had a whole zoning thing that changed. Apparently, people are calling their insurance companies. are like, oh, there's a zoning error, so we can't cover you under this. And the, it's like, that's a little fucking fishy. And then all, like if you look at the one drone footage, it's like all the houses next to the coast. It's like Oprah's house and you know, all these rich people untouched, everything scorched right before it, but their houses were cool. Get the fuck yeah. out of here, man. Come on. I don't know. There's just too many fishy things going on with that whole scenario. I feel bad for all those fucking people yeah. because they have to pay for whatever fucking games the government's doing. I don't even know if it's that. I don't know if that's what's going on. I think it's a lot of misreporting from people who want it to be 
that shit. And it's just, it is so? whatever it is. So all these yeah. people are coming out and saying that no one's bringing food and shit and they got to help themselves. Well, well, it's like, an elaborate fucking hope, man. That's, that's terrible if they're doing that shit. I get it, but it's terrible. No, I mean, I get it too, but it's just, I don't know. Right. Cause like Hawaii's still a part of the U S I just think it's yeah. funny that we threw a lot of money at Ukraine, which is like, we had not I our mean, country. Yeah, yeah. But I, you know, I just feel like, I mean, people like like going to Hawaii for vacation and shit. Like, wouldn't yes. you want to like try to help them out? I guess like help their businesses and stuff. Like, where are your stickers on your profile pictures, people? <laughs> like, you, we go, we go, yeah. to, we go, to, yeah, yeah. We go to Honolulu. My buddy's, leaving, my, my buddy's been working in Alaska, and he's he's going to stop at Hawaii uh, on the way back just to knock off all fifty states. It's like his last stop to do all fifty. Oh, he's only like thirty six. Wow, and he's he's done all fifty already, and he nice. called up the person he knows who's in Maui, and they're like, "Yeah, dude, come on down. Like, we need the tourism yeah. money. Like, yeah, I was if, just if everybody's say. scared that the place is burning down. Like, come on through. Like, we need we need tourism. It'll be great. Like, there's trust yeah. me, ninety percent of the island is perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong. A little yeah, right. area and some backcountry got burnt." But most of the island yeah. is perfectly fine. Come on through, have some drinks, have some food, enjoy the views. Yeah, it's like, well, like it, it's sometimes these things get like over over hyped, like mm -hmm. for well, no yeah. reason. Like well, why, think, why like, are they overhyping time, it? I think yeah. By now, like I think I guess like because like I don't know when exactly the shit went down, but but just like from what I heard is that like the the, the Hawaiians had to like buck up and like handle their own shit because they weren't getting help but now that things are kind of like maintaining that they are trying to like keep bringing in the tourism because it, they they need to uh, you know for the businesses yep. like they need to keep thriving somehow so they keep welcoming tourism so that they can still like you said keep making money but i just think i just think it's funny how like again like what people like focus on or yep. like hyper focus on i'm just like you know, there's something that's like oh, yeah. in a, almost like in our yard, kind of like going down that could use our help. But again, you know, we'll yeah. toss it out towards war. <laughs> toss that shit. Yeah. But, no, they're just pissing away money to other countries. But it's like, you know, if you had a certain, you know, set of billion, how many, how much, how many billions of dollars would it take to eliminate fucking everybody's student loan debt? I forget. It's like, I think it's yeah, less than what we homeless? sent to Ukraine. <laughs> what did that do? <laughs> You can the, probably the do all the amount of the money that we spent to Ukraine. You can eliminate homelessness and fucking everybody's student loan debt gone. Yeah, I forget who it was that was that made an appearance on Joe Rogan, but they like they like knew like how that shit worked in terms mm -hmm. of um, you know like where that money actually like I don't know if it's like just taxes or what, but like the money that they do invest in for to to stop uh, you know the unhousing people. Mm -hmm. Uh, I don't know. It Apparently, does nothing. Like, yeah, it like the the money really doesn't go towards that towards that at all. It's like really just uh, no. It just it know. pays for the people to have the job to do the job. I saw yeah. that one. Yeah. Literally, somebody in L.A. was making like two hundred forty thousand dollars a year to run the homeless program, and most of the budget went to them running the homeless program. And everything they did didn't put a dent in it at all. They were literally spending money to try to help the homeless, and it was literally just going into thin air. Like, it didn't yeah. change anything that they were even trying yeah. to help. All it did was give somebody a really high-paying job. And maybe that's, like, the the government and the, the, the situation was flawed. Like, they didn't have a good plan, so it didn't execute yeah. properly. But the, the reality of it was that it, it either takes so much money or so many people – the like the what you put in you don't get out like you put a billion dollars into homelessness people are still gonna fucking do drugs and live on the street because some of them yeah. they don't want to do it they end yeah. up there yeah and yeah. and then like yeah. you can't like incentivize them not ending up there it's almost yeah. like you just move them somewhere else or provide something for them somewhere else but yeah i saw that one man like yeah. that person knew it was like it failed it didn't work it doesn't find it you could dump more and more and more money and they're just gonna have to hire more people to manage the money 
and at the end of the day it's like it's super hard to solve homelessness it's much easier to not go to war (laughs) like (laughs) it's like you you could definitely stay out of getting involved with wars and the military industrial complex but to like fix homelessness is like I, I don't I don't know. Maybe there is a mental health aspect to it, like getting people right in the yeah, mind. I believe there is to a degree, you know, like because, like, I don't know, just like because there are some people that you come across like that are rather cognizant for you know in their positions. Like, oh, you just happen to be in a very very unfortunate position, but you're still like up there in your head. You know, yep. it's unfortunate, but yeah, I don't know. It's too much crazy shit going on, man. <laughs> it's like, absolutely insane. Like what? Like I it's don't a know. fucking clown show. It's an absolute how do you clown maintain? Show. How do you can? How do you maintain your sanity? Marijuana. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, hey! Go to the Smoke beach every day. Fucking yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, You're up in- I'm thinking about buying a boat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we, but then you got now you got to look out for fucking sharks and and killer whales and shit. <laughs> yeah, they're coming after you. Yeah, they're gonna gang up on you. Gonna need a bigger boat. Then I'll get a bigger boat. <laughs> <laughs> then you gotta watch out for the Meg. Your boat not, might not be big enough. The Meg. The Megalodon. Yeah, the Megalodon. The Megalodon. Yeah, Schmegalodon. I'm I'm not trying to go out in the deep ocean like that. Oh. That's yeah. Dude, it's gonna be a little boat. It's gonna be like a uh, literally a, a car sized boat. So you're not going out for yellowfin tuna, is what you're saying? Not a, no. Okay. No way. All right. No. That's lame. You're just going. You're going crabbing. Probably. All right. Crabs. Uh, th- throw tie a rope to the boat and just pull people on the water on like rafts and shit. Yeah. You know, okay. easy That's stuff. Yeah, yeah, chill. How just much, chill. How much is it for a boat? The particular boat I'm looking for, brand new, ranges from fifty to seventy five thousand, and it, and they do they don't do financing like cars. Like and most new cars are in that price range these days. But when you do a boat financing, it's like for fucking twenty years. So it's like two hundred bucks a month for like twenty years. Hmm. It's actually stupid hmm. affordable if you finance it. Yeah, but after twenty years, your boat is fucking worthless. <laughs> it's, a, it's and you've dumped thousands of dollars into it. So that's like my biggest like pushback. Like, do I really want to own a boat? Because I know it's like, yeah, you just get a trailer, you get a boat, you're all good. And then every couple of years, everything's a thousand dollars. If you want to park it somewhere, it's a thousand dollars. You want to put it in the water somewhere and leave it there, it's two thousand yeah. dollars. I, I, mm. I'm ready. I'm ready to do the fun boat thing, but I don't know if I'm financially ready to destroy my. my do it. My it's going to be the stupidest decision you'll ever make. But you need the boat because we need someone to make Doc Brown. <laughs> Doc <laughs> Brown will never be a thing unless you do it. Right. The boat. You have to do it for the sake of the name, Rad. I named the boat, Ooh. so now it's a legacy. You were going to convince your boss to give you a truck so you can haul the fucking thing, so come on, man. Let's <laughs> That's what I was going to ask. I would, gee, I was legitimately going to email my boss and say, listen, I need a boat, and I need a truck to, to tow the boat. I need a race. <laughs> <laughs> like, no joke. Like, just straight up like that. Like, listen, I know yeah, other people might be complaining about inflation and, like, hard times. Like, I need a boat, and I need a truck to, to tow the boat. I'm trying to give back I'll, I'll to do- the economy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like you know, <laughs> that, that'd I, I be don't dope, really though. need it, but but I'll tell them at the very end of the email I've already named it, so it is now my density. Mm. I don't need the boat. <laughs> I don't need the boat, but I will need the truck to pull the boat if I get it. <laughs> right. So at the very least, maybe I get a raise enough to get a truck. But I don't need. I also don't need a truck. In fact, I definitely don't need a truck. I only need a truck to tow the boat. <laughs> yeah, that would be dope, though, if, if you were to go forward with that and you named it Doc Brown and you painted the boat to look like the the fucking. My brain is blanking out on. And the then name. you need like this a, truck to pull it. That's the truck you need this, to pull it. 
this was Mike's idea. I get the truck that Marty wanted in Back to the Future, and when he changed his future by going back in time, he, he the, that truck was sitting in his garage. Uh, yep. The DeLorean. The that's yeah. Yeah. That, the car was called the, the DeLorean, right? That'd be cool. That's if you painted the boat to look like the you know DeLorean. That would be cool. And then put a replica hoverboard in there. Mm. Oh, Mike, you got that hover. You got the one wheel that looks like a hoverboard. You could make a wakeboard that looks like a hoverboard. Yeah, good. Well, I could. And then, have, and then you have to get those <laughs> self tying shoes next. Oh, right. The Nikes. It's almost you got to get the whole. You got to. You got to get the vet. Uh, you, you're gonna have to. Well, you would it. have a life, but what, what's with the life preserver? <laughs> would you do a jump ship? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the black brown. It fits. It fits. <laughs> oh shit! Do you actually know how to like steer? Like, I don't know. Is it steer a boat, drive a boat, whatever? Like nothing. You... Oh, okay. I, <laughs> I, I I sailed a boat once when I was in Boy Scouts. Sailed. We went to the yeah. Chesapeake Bay and we put up the sail and we. Went out into the middle of the bay, l- grabbing these ropes and like leaning over, and the boat was going like super uh-huh. fast. And then we had to turn around and come back, but the wind was in the wrong direction, so it took us forever to turn. They call it yeah. tact. You go against the wind uh, by it was that well, it was fun, but a pain in the ass. But that's why I want a boat with a motor. It's just yeah, like, sure, you just turn it on yeah. and go, I guess. I'll take lessons and learn all that shit. I'll do like a, a boat safety course, I guess. Yeah, I'm you to learn the the boat. And stuff. I mean, the first step was to name the boat. That's usually the last thing people do. I have a friend who owns a boat, and I was like, what's its name? And he's like, I don't, I didn't name it. And I'm like, ah, oh, dude, you're killing this whole I'm going to be a boater thing with you. Like, you're definitely not on my team. And he's like, no, oh, it's a hand-me-down. My dad left me a boat when he passed away. And I'm like, you never named it? <laughs> kind of made me sad. I was like, "That's not the fun part about being a boat. You write a name on the back, like Stugats or Macaroni." <laughs> and then you can call you know. it Passed Away, like Passed Away. No. Or I am the Just Finisher, but Finn is in quotes or something. Finn. Yeah. Finish Do people him. still name cars? They got me thinking. Do people still name their cars? Not as often as they name boats. I think I every almost truck. every. What's it? What's the truck's name? Mia. 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 Okay. Mia. Mia the Ford Explorer. It's got a nice ring. Seriously? <laughs> yeah. How'd you come up with Mia though? Is this uh, because it's it's the the chick from the Evil Dead remake. Let's go. Uh, whole Evil Dead reference. His yeah. Explorer looks like one of the like the me. trucks from the movie. There's no trucks like that in the movie. There's not. But no, no, nope. It is. No, no. that's the name I came up no. with. It. I named it. I named it Mia. That's what I came up with. No, that wrong movie. Fair. I'm thinking. I'm. I'm thinking of. Uh... You're thinking of Resident Evil. That's right. Yeah, you're thinking of Mia Mila Jovovich. Mia. Yep. Um, Mia yeah. Jo- is Mila. it Mila or Mia yeah. Mila? Mila Jovovich. M I L L A. Yeah. Yeah. No, because I have all the the uh, the umbrella. Corporation shit all over my car. That's what. Yeah, that's where my head was at. Yeah, no, I. Was I, like, I, uh, yeah. Yeah. No, I just didn't make any like, sense yeah. to me. Mia, fucking Mia. Yeah. You actually named it me, dude. It's He's a badass bitch. Yeah, yeah. I like getting. Funny. I like getting inside her, man. I fucking climb up right inside her and Ooh. go like this and <laughs> get sticky. <laughs> Put your cup in the hole. Oh, dude, multiple times, multiple times, spill it all <laughs> over the fucking center console. It's awful. Ooh. Yeah, that's why I had to get seat covers. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Mike, how'd you how'd you feel about the the um the Evil Dead? Uh, Evil Dead Rise? Is that the last Rise? one that came out? The new one. The new one. The new one. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I I like that it's I like to see where the book's going. I like that whole concept of where it's traveling to. I want to know how the book got in the building. I want to know all that shit, but uh, it hadn't really hit me. The 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 one it's not that she's trans, but the one the character just bothered me. I didn't like 
I didn't like her acting or his Wait, acting. There was, trans, there was a trans character in the there? one that found the book. Uh huh. Is trans in real life? So oh. what, she's is a trans woman. Uh, it's a or... it's a she's going from her to him. Oh, so it's gonna be a so it's gonna be a trans man. Yeah, it's if is they, that the, they, is that right? Is that the way yeah. it goes? Well, yeah, like if, either or. Like if you say if you if someone is a trans woman, that means they oh, were a man into and into a woman. A woman. Yeah. 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 How does that work for transformers? Are they trans robots or trans automobiles? Like, are they Autobot well, trans Autobots or trans robots? Oh, that's a good question. Well, which way do they go? But they identify as Autobots. They're they in do. their initial form are the robots with the arms and shit. But to hide themselves, have, have, have we been misgendering? I think we've been misgendering the Autobots by calling them Transformers. Well, no. Hmm. Well, I feel like Autobots are they binary? Like are they binary bots? I feel like <laughs> Autobots is like a pronoun, and then <laughs> they go from they transition from a Cybertronian to a former. Oh. <laughs> this is That's some a good deep point. They're from Cybertron. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. Okay. This is deep. All right. Well, yeah, we got to explain then, this then a little bit. Then they're also aliens because they're from another planet, right? Yeah. Yeah. So maybe that's where the tr- maybe that's where the trans comes from. They they are I don't fucking know. Well, they're transforming <laughs> from from Wait robots to they're robots in disguise. So they let's break are. that down. Let's robots break that down. in disguise. They're cross-dressers. <laughs> Gee, I think you fucking nailed it. Robots <laughs> in the guys. <laughs> <laughs> This is why it's happening because the same robots from the same planet are the aliens that are coming to Earth the past few years. That's why everybody's trans now. They're from what is that planet called? Cybertron. Cybertron. Yep. It's Cybertron. Yeah. Yep. Someone's got to look into that. I, I nominate. Cybertron. What's uh? Dude. Oh. Okay. Wait. I get it. All right. All right. So trans. The the Autobots are are. Robots mm, into okay, I guys. Lost it because I, I went with the Decepticons, <laughs> okay. and I feel like a Decepticons would be a trap. You know what I mean? Like, oh, this chick's hot. Oh, she got a dick. Fuck. Damn, it's a it's one of those lady boys from Thailand. Uh, Decepticons. A Decepticon. <laughs> a dick sucticon. De- De- Decepticon. <laughs> <laughs> wow, we really like fucking veered. To the left <laughs> on We're off the rails now. Holy shit! <laughs> well, that's the, is, is that the is, are we on formula for the show? Is this how it goes, right? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, <laughs> well, that's right on point. It's like we planned shit, and the, then we're like, "Ah, eh, throw it out." Actually, I do want to see the latest Transformers movie, though. Which one's that? The Beast Wars? Yeah, uh, just because I grew up on Beast Wars, so I'm just curious to see how they play into the story. I heard it was really good. Yeah, I've heard some decent comments about it. Yeah, I I, I saw that it didn't really do well in the theaters, but I just nothing's think it's doing because... well, man. I mean, even yeah, I heard exactly. Blue Beetle didn't do well. I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah, but yeah, I'm like, I'm like, I'm really behind on movies these days. I I <laughs> want to like actually go out to the theaters and watch them, but yeah. I just always, yeah, I don't know. I just never find the time to do it. Oh, shit. The last time I spent money on a movie was that Abomination Flash. and uh, it Was it off. that bad? Because I saw some people out. were like, I saw some, like, I saw some people say, like, it was, you know, kind of like what we're saying about the movies we're talking about. Like, it was yeah. still fun and entertaining, but was it, was it that bad? Um, I mean, at its moments, the, the, the interactions between Ezra Miller and Ezra Miller were really funny. Um, Batman, the Michael Keaton Batman, like his fighting style was Uh-oh. very reminiscent of like how Batman yeah. fights in like Arkham Asylum, like the oh, video, okay, like, comboed out, dropping elbows. Like there was one where he threw out his grappling hook, pulled the dude over. When he pulled it over, he fucking like clotheslined him all in like one fucking like it was one move. It was awesome. Like the high okay. brain, like really high and like. 
bringing it down on his neck, like it was very reminiscent of the fighting style of Arkham Asylum. It was so. Oh so would it be worth it to see it just for the Batman scenes? Um. Yeah, if, as long as you can watch it for free, I highly recommend <laughs> watching it for free. Do not pay a dime. If you need to see it, you don't have any streaming services that have it, I will download it for you legally. <laughs> That's right. I will download it legally, and oh, I will shit. give it to him. Because fuck that movie. You fucked it up. You fucked up the whole universe. Should have just you left fucked. it to Zack Snyder. You fucked it all up. Mm. Jerk-offs. Anyway. Mm. Anyway. I don't know. Like, uh, I, I, I thought... Ezra Miller as Flash was pretty annoying in, in Justice League. But I, I also yeah. don't follow the comics. I don't know if he was like, if that character was supposed to be like that or not. The guy from the show, best Flash. And I, never even, I, watched, I never even watched the show. Best Flash. <laughs> well, that's what a lot of people say, though, that, that do watch the show. They're like, this guy, right? His name is Barry, Barry Allen. Barry Allen, yeah. Yeah, like they kept saying that he was the best Barry Allen so yeah. far. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, but... I know nothing about the character or the show. And yeah, I I prefer the show guy over Ezra Miller. Yeah. Yeah, because like I'm curious. Like I just want to see it to see Keaton as Batman again. It's the, when you first get introduced to him, it threw me off a little bit because it's a little, little silly, the interaction that they have right then and there. And I'm like... This is supposed to be Batman. Like, yeah, I'm not feeling this. But then when he puts the suit on, you're like, oh, Batman, that's Batman. Uh, okay. Give me that. Oh, daddy, give me that 89. Batman, <laughs> I was going to say. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so you know what? The one like... thing I do appreciate that I, I just recently saw like a day or two ago, they had made, because um, you know about the infamous uh, Bat Lean. Like the suit was so stiff for Keaton. Like every time he had to, oh. he had to like turn his entire body. He couldn't just turn his neck or whatever. Oh yeah, so he, just do the he developed his whole Batman character based off of that suit and the way he yeah, moved like and that. the way he was able to move and shit. So for the new movie, they they made this incredibly flexible suit that he was able to do this and that and blah blah blah. And he puts it on and goes, it. he puts it on and goes no. I want, I want the stiff, I want the stiff suit because he, he, that yeah. was his, that was his Batman. So they uh, went in and they made the, the, like... the, they went in and made the, 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 the suit thicker and and made it harder for him to move. And then he was able to to do his iconic, yeah, it creates, yeah, geez, that, that's like... what he wanted. It was awesome. I'm like, this is, oh, I so love funny. that. So because like, yeah, see it just for like him. <laughs> Wasn't that wasn't that like Val Kilmer's complaint about when like he wanted or no uh, Chris probably Bale, him or right? Clooney or Clooney was bitching about the nipples. It's like, <laughs> it's like why does he have such big nipples? Yeah, some, why does the bat suit have nipples or something like that? <laughs> it's a bat. I would say, every time they suit it up, I'm like, why are we getting butt shots <laughs> like, <laughs> for the ladies? Gratuitous butt shots for the ladies. No, but they did it for the guys too, didn't they? <laughs> <sighs> I, this, I guess it was supposed to be funny. I don't know. Yeah. Like, I mean, it was a God. fetish thing. Like, ooh, an ass in a rubber suit. Who the fuck knows? You know what I mean? Yeah. This is why I see that butt jiggle. Yeah. Gotta do those, uh, those, uh, what do they call them? Uh, what are the Japanese squats or Chinese squats? The Hindu squats? Where, where you go all the way ass to the grass. Ass to oh, the grass. Oh, called ass to grass. They call that grass to grass yeah. squats. I think there's an Asian variety of that because I had I, I sat well, like like. Oh, uh, I know there's a Hindu squat, and that's when like as you're squatting down, you're getting onto your toes, like on your. So it's almost like a like a calf raise as you're getting into a squat position. It's it's interesting. Yeah. <laughs> we get to, we're getting into workouts now. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. I know. If like you put your the, imagine my fingers or feet, the uh -huh. your heels are like touching. Okay. And you squat like that instead of being spread out. Isn't I thought that, that, like that was called. Move? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I, I know. I know. There's a name for it, but like, huh. it's uh, it's it's supposed to be like one of the ways you can go all the way down. Hmm. Yeah, that's not funny. That's not funny. Nope. <laughs> no. 
<laughs> all right, all right. I'm gonna bring up one more movie because I'm I'm curious if it's worth watching, mm. and that is Avatar two. Oh, the two. I I, I have stayed away from that. Yeah, I, I don't no know anything about whatsoever. it. I don't know okay, anything about so- it. <laughs> You're 13 years too late. You're 13 years too late. It's like how long is what? Is it three hours long or four hours long or some shit? I mean, the first I, one wasn't even like I it, like it, you. You had to see the movie in IMAX first of all. The only way to see it, and it was like literally, I I saw it once in IMAX, and I I I have never seen the movie again. It was a ooh yeah. ah ah, uh, and I literally I've never seen the movie ever. It's yeah, not yeah, a rewatcher. A Don't need it. Don't yeah, it's not a re- desire to rewatch. Get, make that me another, make me make me another Terminator movie, James Cameron. Make me another fucking yeah, Terminator movie. You know movie. what? I I would go see another Terminator movie. Make him do something different. Like focus doesn't on matter. shit that work, not this blue bullshit. I mean, a Titanic well, too. Yes, <laughs> yes, do that. <laughs> I like it. What is it? Well, Titanic two will be the, about the fucking submarine. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh. I was you gonna say like, to check it out. They fucking left this shit here. I they was just gonna left say, it. Like maybe the the families of the victims of the Titanic go to find the iceberg that hit it, and then like bring it to trial, and then like there's this whole big like scene with Jack Nicholson. He's like, "You can't handle the truth," and it's all like <laughs> people with pitchforks and shit, and uh, you know, the icebergs like they intentionally sunk the ship. Yeah. You know why they intentionally sucked the ship? Because the Rothschilds were importing art from the Europe to the Americas. You can't handle the truth. <laughs> yep. Yep. Sir, That's the one I want this, to see. this sir, this is a Wendy's. <laughs> <laughs> You're in the Wendy's drive-through, sir. Please just let me tell me what you want. Sir, this is a safari. Oh, no. they, we're they, trying to... If they were to make another Terminator, though, I feel like they're going to do some woke shit, though. Yeah, they can't. They, I, I, honestly, they're that was do a, like a bi- idea. A binary robot or something. You can't do with Schwarzenegger. Robot. Schwarzenegger's too fucking old. You, you ruined the last one, making him smile and human and all that weird shit. It's like, got to be about the... the what, what the fuck was that network called? Skynet. 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 It's got to be all about Skynet and how I would, Skynet I would works. See that. I would see that. Yeah. Like the movie. Only that would be what it's got to be all about. Yeah. It's like from the Skynet end of things. And everyone would be like, oh, my God, that's really happening In now. In detail, how Skynet really started. And then, like, all the way to when the AI launches and the T-800 comes right out of the fucking assembly line. And then movie over. Well, wait, doesn't Skynet then was it? Oh, that's how it ends. T1000 gets like unmolded. Uh, T800. Like they, they, like... T, no, T800. T1000 was liquid metal guy in T2. Yeah. All right. All right. So, well, let's they, get they, our facts get... straight here. T1. T1. <laughs> oh, I got a T185 <laughs> Texas Instruments calculator. <laughs> he, he was Cyberdyne Systems Model 101. He was the T800. Let's get that straight. Okay. Oh my god, did Wolf of Wall Street try to sell somebody Cyberdyne stocks at like 10 cents on the share? That would be hilarious if that was like somehow in the Terminator I'm, I, I'm just so well out of out of the fucking clip right there. I'm pretty sure Cyberdyne Industries is one of the stocks that he pitches to the penny stock company when he calls somebody up random. Have any oh, of you I, seen yeah, Wolf of Wall Street? Yeah, yeah, I think nah, I know you're Not in a while. I think in Wolf of Wall Street, when he works for the Penny Stock Exchange, he tries to sell somebody Cyberdyne Industries. Oh. I haven't seen that movie in a long time. That's a good my movie. Wife just, my it. wife just said she's going to Arrowtine. 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 Oh, so close. Uh, yeah. It would have been so much better if it linked into that. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I want I want so many different movies to like intertwine with each other on like those Easter egg moments. Mm. In the next it, within the next thirty minutes, I'm going to fully blend in with my background. Yep. <laughs> yep. Do you you don't usually podcast outside, do you? No. No, it's just usually a, outside in the garage. Yeah. Uh, then he started doing it in the house, but then uh then the uh, Things changed. 
<laughs> we had to move somebody in to help take care of my dad, so now we all live together, and it's a mess. Mm. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> there you have it. And there you have it. What an episode, folks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's a good thing. I think we're done. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, otherwise we're not going to be able to see you anymore. Yeah. Unless you smile. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, but you know what? Uh, I, I appreciate the, the hang, actually. Well, I, I really... Yeah, I appreciate you guys having me on. Let's get to shoot the shit. Are you yeah, afraid no. of the dark? There you go. Your one Are eye you looks afraid? fucking higher than the other. It probably <laughs> is. Well, fun fact: uh, everyone's faces, or majority of everyone's, or majority of people's faces, aren't symmetrical. No shit. So that's why every time you like cover one half, yeah, like it does. It like it'll look weird if you like do this versus the other side. Everybody I at also, home, put your hands over your eyes. I also got hit in the face with a baseball, and it broke the orbital, and my eye literally was sitting down here. It drooped down because a this, bit. There was no bones to hold the eye in my face, and yeah, they like did a... surgery, and it's pretty It's pretty good. I, I look pretty shitty right now because it's dark. Well, but... I wouldn't even notice until Mike said some shit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. My like phone in, might be tilted too. Like if I just do this, I, and like every, it's a no, little crooked. Your mustache isn't tilted. Your fucking eyes are tilted. <laughs> My head is tilted too. I always like leaning over. <laughs> oh, Jesus. You know, it's like the oh, I'm tilting my head because like I'm fucking from South Park and I'm from Canada. Canada. Uh, t- Canada. I'm Canadian. <laughs> that's, that's so funny, Terrence. Oh, my God. Oh, well, Good you time. can check out all the G stuff on YouTube and Instagram at The Art of G Toronto. Um, you can also check out his uh, podcast, The Rated G, every week. He's got shit going on. He just. What did you just release? Episode 165, 164, man? Uh, 168. You're, you're fucking killing it, dude. I'm trying Loving to. It. Trying to keep it going. You got to keep Appreciate it going, it. man. We got, you got to have, you got to have us on your show, but as a package deal. Uh, yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. I'm totally I'll, down. I'll, that'd that. be cool. I'll dress for the occasion. Cause this guy's interesting. That I guy. expect three hats. <laughs> yes. Minimum. A three hat minimum. Three hat minimum yeah. podcast. Yes. Ooh, that <laughs> we should do a, a podcast, all three of us, and call it the three hat minimum. <laughs> three hat minimum. <laughs> oh. It's like a super group <laughs> podcast. You don't want to let those ideas uh, escape out of their brain. That's how the aliens oh. get them. What happens mm. when a bunch of nobodies on YouTube get together? <laughs> they create hey, a check. show called the three hat minimum. <laughs> Maybe it's tinfoil. Maybe we wear tinfoil hats. There's a tinfoil hat podcast. We've had uh, Eddie. Eddie Bravo goes on that all the time. Oh, uh, yeah. I, that's yeah. right. I was gonna say, what if we just like every we would wear a different hat, but the hat's always wrapped in tinfoil, no matter yeah. the style of the hat. We wouldn't be able so, to yeah, acknowledge yeah. it as a tinfoil hat, but I mean, yeah. Uh, Anyway, Eddie, that's that's Eddie a chat Bra- for a different podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah Eddie Bravo is definitely a tinfoil hat kind of guy. He's a fucking, he is a tinfoil hat. I think he believes he in it. Yeah, like legitimately. He believes the earth is flat. So, Really? That too? But yeah. I would definitely have you guys on. Well, we, can, we can always set that up whenever you want. Yes, and also, too, if anybody does watch this, head over to redbubble.com and search for uh, Art of G the letter G Toronto and get this dude's hat and artwork and all kinds of shits up there. I'll, I'll reshow that what we did in the beginning, get it out there. Oh, and (laughs) buy some shit. Don't forget to log into your local utility and pay your internet phone and electric bills. So you can continue to have the internet. Are you reading an ad? (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) It's from the government. They want you to keep paying your utility bills. If you want to go off grid, find me on a boat in the middle of the ocean. The Doc be... Brown. Doc <laughs> Brown. Just radio channel 22 megahertz with your FRS radio and just ask for Doc and uh, 
you know, one day I'll be there if everything goes as planned. There you have it. I just plugged yeah. myself. Did you? Did it hurt? Yeah. Is that what girls like said. to do to guys? They plug them? Yeah. Oh, that's that's pegging. Never mind. Yeah. I mean, it's still you're still plugging it up, right? <laughs> yeah. it's, it is the same shit. <laughs> <laughs> Find my boat on OnlyFins. <laughs> All right. That's, wow. That's my boating date network. There'll be exclusive videos. Yep. Ooh. Fins. Only fins. Oh, you see his hands now. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's gone. We lost him. <laughs> those those he's are gone. fins. He's, he's been blacked out. <laughs> they don't want you to know. Remember, folks, slap that like button, lick that subscription bell, and hit the ding dong when you're ready. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in, folks. We'll see you in another three months or something. <laughs> and thanks again, G, for joining us. This was a damn pleasure. No, nah, man, I really appreciate you guys. Thank you for having Dude. me. There's an, echo. There's an echo. It's all good. It's all good. We're at the end yeah, anyway. Yeah, so look at that perfect. Yeah. At, least, at least it happened now. Now, 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 so I head where? Yeah, on your screen. I just saw a head like. Ah, it might be Tommy. Hey, Tommy. Tommy. Dude, he's not even over there. I saw a head. He's sitting <laughs> on his fucking computer chair. Oh. They think you're over there poking your head out. Oh fuck. Yo, wait for real. He's sitting over at his computer. Yo, I, I literally <laughs> saw a head on on uh your right side. Over here? Yeah. I I swear to god I saw a head peek out on dude, the side. It, I'll have it, to like, replay this back and see what the hell it you're went talking like this, about. dude. It was like this. And it went like that. <laughs> what? I swear to fucking god, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're gonna have to look back on I'll that. I'll replay you know. that. Yeah, <laughs> this is first. This is the first ever G's hallucinating on our show. I love it. This is fantastic. <laughs>